In this movie what you'll see is how you can insert a DWG file into a view of a Revit architecture project. you then be able to use the inserted objects to generate a topo surface from the objects that are part of that inserted file. So this is a continuation from the point in time where you received a DWG file and you're now about to create the topo surface itself. I'm in the Revit project file and what I want to do is create a topo surface. So I'm going to switch to the camera that's my sight camera. I'm looking at that level. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is bring in the CAD file because I'm going to use that option to generate a surface from the polylines in the AutoCAD file. So if I say insert, import CAD, I'm going to look in my class folder and I find St. Louis site polylines. Um, I'll just change this so that the layers option says specify. That means that I'll be able to choose from the layers that were in that file which of them I want to bring into my project. I'm not going to put a check under current view only because I want to be able to see the model in any camera view. Um, later on I'm just going to delete the inserted file and I'm just going to say open up. Uh, I see the list now because I said I would specify. The ones that I'm interested in, if I say check none, I want the layers that had the contours on it and I want the layer that had the 50 foot grid on it as well because I'm going to use that to trim the edges of my my site. So I say OK. It brings it in. I've got now an instance of this CAD file inside my Revit project. Next step is I want to go and create the actual uh, terrain model or the, the topo surface. I go to the Massing and Site tab. I go to Topo Surface and I'm used the option that says Create from Import. Select Import Instance. So I might have brought in different DWG files and I can choose which one I want to use to generate the surface. I'm going to click on that option and then come down and you see that the, the site itself highlights if I move the cursor. I'll select it. This is going to put points on top of the objects that are on the different layers. Now I don't want them to be dropped to the zero elevation where the grid is, so I'm going to check that off. I only want it on the contours that were placed at the appropriate elevation. So if I say OK, it's actually generating the terrain model from uh, the points that are on the polylines. And I can say that I'm finished with that and I've got a terrain model.